this is the day that any of us celebrate every day. But actually, today is National Coffee Day. We're here with Chuck Patton. We share the same last we, name, sir. We do. Already, yeah, and fun. also, I would guess a love for coffee. I'm imagining if you're <laughs> in the sure. business, you must sure. love coffee. Absolutely. From Bird Rock Coffee Roaster. Congratulations, by the way. You have some thank national you. awards here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we were just awarded a couple medals in the Golden Bean Award, and that's a national competition that recognizes excellence in roasting. So I brought a couple of those coffees today that we were we won a couple silvers and a bronze, and I I'm think really it's, proud of that. Isn't it, it smells so good out here. Exactly. I'm just sitting here like, <laughs> smelling this coffee, and I'm already waking up a little bit. Well, warm. good. Good. Yeah. Glad we could do that for you. So what is popular? What's what's uh, the, well, the hot item? Well, yeah, I thought I'd bring it a couple things that are pretty popular in the, in the specialty coffee industry right now. You may have heard of cold brew, cold brew, that everybody is serving cold brew, and right. it's, it's a really nice way to have coffee, and especially because it's the, the weather, of course, that we've had to figure out lately. And but, you can do this at home? Yeah, and this is a really easy thing to do at home. And in general, what I was going to demo today is, we, is you can make cold brew in anything, and I just brought these buckets today just to show you you can actually do it in anything. And what we do is about one part coffee to 13 parts water. And here we have about a pound and a half of coffee to about two gallons of water. And we just add the water, regular temperature, room temperature water, and then we just keep it in the fridge overnight for about 24 hours. And it produces a coffee that's lower acid, higher caffeine, and a little bit sweeter than oh, we would get with, okay. with coffee that's brewed with hot water. And essentially, after about 24 hours, what you can do at home, if, if you wouldn't. Oh, kind of, yeah, look so, at this. So we have this. Uh, We'll see. I don't know how you're going to do this. It's all live TV. This is the excitement, right? Right. right. Will, that is. So, so essentially, what we would do is just very easy to make. We would just strain it out, and a, a normal kitchen strainer will catch most of the ground coffee. Oh, that was good. And then uh, I don't think you dropped. It. Yeah, I know. You it's, spilled a single drop. And uh, essentially, what you'll have here is coffee that you can use for about two weeks. And just keep it in the fridge, and and it's coffee ready to go. It's, okay. It's cold brewed, but do people heat it up to drink it? No, no. He's, it's usually he's on ice. Stay cold. Yeah, yeah, usually on ice. ice. Yeah. And and it, you know we have such great weather in San Diego. It's something you can drink year round. I know That's people like it because it's less acidic, as you mentioned. Correct. If you heat it up, will that change the acidic quality of it? Yeah. Uh, well, it could. Uh huh. It might make it better, but usually the the acidity is really happens when you're adding hot water. Now to, what, to the brewing process. Gotcha. And that's what I'm doing right yeah, here. What is this? This is the well, pour over? Well, this is pour over, yeah. And this is what we use to make coffee by the cup. And essentially what we can do is, is what we have in our shop. We have a little coffee menu. So people can kind of tailor their choices to what they like in coffee. I mean, is there something you like in coffee in particular as far as flavor notes? Uh, well, right now, the pumpkin. I am all oh, about the trends. Um, well, you yeah. know, that's, we're going we're gonna to debut that on the first. We have a, a special little pumpkin latte. But with specialty coffee, it's become more like wine. So people like fruity or chocolatey, and that's really what we try and tailor this kind of method towards. Well, this would be far. great to do something at home, you know? Exactly. Nice well, I was thinking, people are really into those Keurig uh, coffee makers yeah. now, right? This, to me, seems to be the same thing. It's very elegant, though. Well, there's two different, this is a Chemex. So this was actually designed in, in about the, in the 50s, and it's a really wonderful way to, to produce coffee. It produces a great cup. The, the Keurig things, that, that is a really easy way to, to make coffee, right. but you create a lot of waste. Those little things end exactly. up in the trash. And yeah. this is basically no waste, and, and this is a metal cone that we can reuse. So it's a really environmentally friendly way to, to produce coffee, and it produces a, a terrific cup. I brought a little sample of some cold brew. I thought you guys might want to try oh, yeah, it. Oh, yeah, please. Um, yeah. This is actually uh, something that we made yesterday, and this is a, a special coffee called a geisha. And this is what we're featuring today in our in our stores. It's our most expensive coffee, and it's from a, a particular farm in, oh, in Panama. You. It's a very rare coffee. We sell so it for about 100 bucks a pound. But today, people can get it for six bucks a cup. In, six in bucks a cup? It's delicious. Yeah, usually it less delicious. Bucks a cup. It's really good. Oh, it's really good. Really good. good. Glad you like it. Usually, I'm all about cream and sugar, but you don't even really need that. Oh, that's a good point. And that's yeah. really what we're trying to go for with, with our company is, is to expose people to really the wonderful natural sweetness. Mm -hmm. of really, this so is just straight like black coffee. Yeah. And I, yeah. Wow, it's good. Yeah. Usually not yeah. my thing, but hey, so uh, so they can go in there, and that's that's what you got today for the yeah, National yeah, Coffee yeah, Day. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Yeah. And you can see there, Bird Rock Coffee Roaster. There Great place to yep. just hang out. And they make the beautiful yeah. designs. And so, hey, thank you so much oh, for coming in. Thank you so much for having us. And, and uh, yeah, enjoy your coffee. Chuck, happy National Coffee happy Day. Happy National Coffee Cheers. Day. Cheers. I know, right? Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. We'll be right back. Thanks for coming Appreciate in. It. That is